Hello there and welcome to Love My Poland. You know, I absolutely love hearing stories about people who've never been to Poland before, imagining wild animals roaming our streets like bears, moose, elk, or believe it or not, someone even once asked if we have penguins here. <laughs> Crazy, right? But truth be told, one of the wildest creatures causing me grief here isn't what you would expect. It's this super cute little fellow that many folks may not even know exists. More on that coming up right now. <laughs> As you can see, I am kind of squatting in front of my family minivan where I've just dropped a ton of cash to get my engine back in working order. It got chewed up, electric wires, cables, you name it. All thanks to a tiny little troublemaker called a house Martin, or as we call it in Polish, Kuna. After chatting with friends and students, I realized I am not at all alone in this struggle. And I've got some interesting tidbits to share with you about this incredible critter. Take a look at it. Isn't it one of the most adorable things you've ever seen? So cute and cuddly, right? In fact, my first impression after seeing one in real life was that it was a type of ferret. Many of my friends in the US had ferrets as pets. After all, most of them were dark colored, dark brown or black, but I'll admit it, I had no clue what a Martin was before moving here. They are part of the same family as ferrets, weasels, minks, and otters. But let me tell you, these little guys are fierce hunters. They can take down animals larger than themselves. And I've even heard stories from folks here in Poland of them putting up a good fight against house cats and even small dogs. And your average Pole has a lot to say on this topic. Just ask them one day. Take my family doctor, Dr. Jarek, for instance. He is dealing with a Martin invasion in his home right now and is causing him so much stress. These creatures have made multiple nests out of his roof insulation, costing him a fortune in repairs, so far exceeding 75,000 Zwoltik, or about 20,000 US. Oh my goodness. Now, you might wonder, why not just set up traps and deal with them like we do with mice or rats? Well, <laughs> it turns out that Martins are vigorously protected by the Polish government here. Over the years, people have tried to domesticate them or hunt them for their fur, but it is a serious no-go nowadays. They are crucial for nature's balance, spreading seeds and keeping pests in check, bad insects. So you might be wondering, what would happen if you did get caught harming a Martin? I know that's the first thing that went through my mind a few weeks ago when my car wouldn't start and I popped the hood and I saw inside. Let's take a look at the case that happened last March of 51-year-old city transport employee Mr. Yusuf J of Wuj who came face to face with a Martin in broad daylight. Mr. Yusuf using a hammer fatally attacked and disposed of a Martin that he claimed was aggressively showing its teeth, kind of following him around and it led him to believe that the animal had rabies. Everything was caught on CCTV and he was taken to court where he faced three months to a maximum of five years behind bars for his actions. The judge quickly found him guilty and sentenced him to a unique penalty of being banned from owning any type of animal for one year, 120 hours of community service, that would be 20 hours per month for six months, and he had to pay a fee of about 190 zloty or about 50 US dollars. I don't know about you, but that's pretty extreme for Polish standards. So what do you do if you ever encounter Martin problems like I did? Well, when it comes to your car, rumor has it that if you hang a toilet bowl cleaner like this one in your engine, kind of, you know, it has a little attachment there, you stick it somewhere safe in the engine, it will deter them successfully. I'm giving it a shot and we'll just see how effective it is. And if they ever do invade your home, there are companies all over Poland that can safely relocate them for you so you don't have to worry about getting in trouble. In conclusion, there are no bears, moose, or penguins in sight here in Poland. I haven't seen them in over two decades here. But hey, you just might come across some of these mighty house martins one day. And thanks to this video, you've been warned and you know what to do. So the mighty house martin in Poland. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I know this was a unique episode, but you know, I try to be helpful here. I try to warn people on what might happen living here, things that I face that may be kind of funny for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the button on my toilet bowl cleaner, AKA Martin repellent and become a follower of my channel, become a subscriber to the channel. I would love to have you. See you in the next one.